Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. It's me, the Blade Gamer, of course, and I'm joined by... His sister, the Rubber Mushroom. In the last episode, we entered this weird cavern system in the volcano, and then this episode we're going to continue. You are about to enter a maze, my dear friend. Ooh, diggy hole. Magma! Ah. Whoa, you scared me silly. You can't just start digging right above my head, you know? But I get where you're coming from. You never know what you're going to find when you dig, so it's impossible to stop. Three peas are, most common are the most common treasure you'll dig up, but sometimes you might even score Elden Ores or some hearts. So if you run across a hole and you've got time to dig, dig, dig. Alright, so there's a whole bunch of these flaming things. What are they called again? Pyrups. Pyros? Pyrup. Pyrup. Okay. Another you can still dig. 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 Oh, it's okay. Blue! Yeah, I'll pick up the green one and forget the blue one. Alright, so here are the bomb flowers. I saw what I need to do with this one. Get out of my hands. That didn't work, did it? No. I'm gonna have to stay pretty far away from them, though. Ah, hey, get you through! Yeah! <laughs> See, I'm sitting down on the floor, basically, and it's very hard to, like, get the Wii Remote down to where I can roll it. Um, so I do suggest Try being... putting it next to your leg. Yeah. I like Run. that, not next to Link's leg. Alright, let's try this again. Go, 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 go! Did I do it? I think so. Nope. And I can't just uh, aim it from here. You probably can. Oh, you can curve it too. That's cool. Let me try rolling it through the fire because that'll let me know if I can or not. Roll! You well, got that it. Worked. <laughs> you sound like monkeys. This just doesn't make any sense. Alright, but what's in... Oh, okay. Hmm. I was wondering why this is there. Alright, so hearts that I don't need at all. Alright, so basically I wasted all my time killing all these... Uh, I'll hey. think of it. I'll think of it. Um, hey, what happens if you're addicted to fire? Pyrups. There we go. There we go. Good boy. <laughs> Yeah, I run! Jeez. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Are you gonna blow up at all? Alright. Jeez, took them long enough. Okay, so this must be the exit. This must be another small geyser. Oop, another hole. Another reason to dig in the grass. New Rupee. Green Rupee. You'll totally be able to buy stuff from Beetle's shop now. Uh, some stuff. Oh. I, I, I kind of want to get the heart thing, which I think will allow you to detect uh, nearby pieces of heart. So five rupees, that was worth it, in my opinion. Blue. 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 Yeah, I'd say pick those up before you keep digging. Oh, they're done. Okay. Alright, so... Wait. Any more? Nope. Just some grass, which will only hold like one or two rupees and some hearts, so it's worth to go out. Where does this take us? Uh. Back outside. Yep, Ooh. but we're on a different platform. There we go. Uh, so that's where we were. Diggy, Diggy hole. Careful, you're making all the rupees jump off. Yeah, well, I'm not meaning to. Ah, so. Is this the vine wall? I think so. And even if it isn't, I can still uh, get back up pretty easily. Wow. 
And I see a ladybug right there, which I will try and catch. More. Three rupees. Alright, so let's catch these bugs really quickly. Yoink. Oh, you got a Volcanic go ladybug. Yoink. Got another one. I'm glad that there's not like 50 different bugs you can catch and all of them are pretty much the same. Uh, so that you can pretty easily find where to go to get them, so... Alright, so that was worth a few extra rupees. Totally worth my time. Alright, so this is where we came out, and over here is another magma. Whoa! Now there's a green one! One of your people just came charging through here, dressed all in black. Is that a friend of yours? See that up ahead? That's what we call a drop dead end, but this character danced right over it. Seriously, jumping over a gap like that, my jaw hit the dirt. Huh. I'm wondering if it's Zelda or Girahim. Huh. I wonder why it opened. I don't know. Hey! You, the goddess's chosen hero. Oh. Zelda is ahead. Hurry. That's the person in black. That looks like a Sheikah. It's that one chick that one time in that one trailer. Yeah, that one chick at that one time in that one trailer. I think that's in case you fall in the lava. I have no idea. Yeah, I don't... Yeah. I don't really... Or maybe a platform will appear later if you can if drain, you drain even the more lava. Lava. Yeah. lava. La. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go the la? Is that what you said? I think that'll make it to where you can get you have a shortcut. So you don't have to go through. Oh, so this is the shortcut to the beginning that I saw earlier, I think. Yeah, it's right there. So that Wait, way. Wait, no, this is a different shortcut, but uh, there is one that I'm thinking of. So you don't of. have to go through the cave every single time. Yep. Um, I wonder if I throw a bomb onto that, if mm. something will happen. Well, actually, there's a bomb right there. Have fun. Good luck, have fun. <laughs> Nothing. It was worth a shot. Alright, so that one... So we gotta go this way, because the other area is just a shortcut. Alright, so let's activate this bird statue. Volcano Ascent. What's what? What? The thing on the ground. Right there. Uh, that must be a switch or something to activate the bridge that he or, well, it's a she, activated to, um, let me through. There's another thing you can throw with the bombs. Over there. Uh, is there a bomb up here that I can use? Oh, there's a diggy hole. Why do I call them diggy holes? I guess I watched too much the odds oh, cast. cast. Yeah. Diggy diggy hole, Alright, so I can't get that right now. Yep. Unless I'm just doing it wrong. But I don't think I am, You're so. Doing it wrong. Uh, oh, gee. Wow, nice. Well. Kill three birds with one strike. Well, three bats, bats in yeah. this case. Alright. Well, well, Let's get careful. a good look at this. Uh, there seems to be a fork, which I might want to head to to find something. Have so, fun. let's do this! You can do it, Link. Believe in yourself! Kill a crazy guy. <laughs> Alright, so there it's is a fork. Deku nuts, I need. Or Deku. Why do I keep calling them Deku nuts? Gosh. Seeds. They're De Deku seeds. Maybe they're hinting that you need them. Maybe. Oh! 
Maybe that's the tunnel from the beginning of the game. Nope. Yep. It is. Oh, from the beginning of the... Okay, I thought you meant... Yep, see, this is uh, the beginning area right here. Right there is the beginning area. So, that's pretty nice. Alright, so now we have both shortcuts opened, except that one that the bombs wouldn't quite reach. Alright, so time to run back up the hill. Uh-oh. That book of one has a boulder. Yeah, I think that's why they gave you Deku seeds. You might be right. Same for the boulder on his head. A little higher. Ha! <laughs> Alright, good thinking, Hannah. No, it was kind of a dumb moment for me. Well, yeah. uh, what I was gonna do was actually run up to it, make the boulder fall, and then run away from it. <laughs> Uh, that would have probably worked, but it might not have worked <laughs> at the same time. They're climbing in your windows. Alright, so they only take three hits, which is good. Uh, you're hitting him in his groin. <laughs> I'm not meaning to. Oh, a bomb flower and a thing right there, conveniently placed. We get it. None of your friends are coming. They're all dead. Uh, that was a dumb decision, but it worked. <laughs> I'm really surprised that that worked. I, I figured you had to throw a bomb, but I accidentally rolled it because I thought I was going to climb on top of the platform right before. Don't be stupid. I'm not. Let me see if this is that shortcut that I was trying to... No, it's a cave, so that's not it. Um, I guess I should go in here, though. there. Thanks for stopping by. First time here, am I right? That's what they look like. The name's Tubert. Nice to meet you. I run this little game I like to call Thrill Digger. Ooh. Do you like money? How about explosions? We'll dig up some rupees before we hit the bomb in a suspenseful game of Thrill Digger. Wanna try? Beginner! The beginner course has less spots to burrow into, but it's great for first timers. Ooh. It's 30 rupees to play. Wanna give it a go? Sure. Hope you dig up lots of roofies. Just be careful. You're poking down in the dirt. Could go kaboom, so good luck. Um, okay, let's try this one. It's like Minesweeper. Got five rupees. Got ten rupees. Is there like a way to predict? Okay, generally bomb flowers and roopers are more likely to be adjacent to valuable red rupees. Your game ends whenever you pick up a bomb flower with the goal of the game to pick up as many rupees as possible. But is there a way to predict where the bomb flowers will be? Is there any prize for... Is there any prize? Uh, I'm reading. I guess I'm done for now. Because it doesn't say if I can win a piece of heart or anything. You'll most likely turn a profit on the beginner course. Oh, what's this? It was just a random... But about the best you're likely to do is double your money. Thrill Digger is fun to play around with if you have money to burn, but look elsewhere for ways to earn fast cash. 
I guess I'm digging up this secret supply oh, of rupees. Okay, you need to look at the walls after you're done digging. Oh, God! <sighs> hey, you, you're gonna try your mitts in Tubert's Thrill Digger game, right? You want some top secret info? It's guaranteed to make you rich. R I C H. Now, since you'll be lining your pockets with rupees, it's only fair I give a little piece of the. get a little piece of the pie. And I want my pie now, thank you. Oh, sure. I have 20 rupees to spend. That's the spirit. Now you've got to promise me this stays between the two of us. You gotta keep the, your trap shut, got it? The color of the rupee you dig up will tell you how many bad holes are around you. Like if you dig up a green rupee, there are no bad holes around it. A blue rupee will have one or two bad holes. A red rupee will have three or four. And a silver rupee will have five or six. If you're lucky enough to dig up a gold rupee, there will be seven or eight bad holes nearby. There are almost no good holes. What do you think? Makes me planning makes planning to dig a bit easier, right? At the end of the day, it comes down to your luck. Your luck. So just do the best you can and cross your fingers or something. Alright, so that actually is good to know. So it literally is like Minesweeper if you've ever played that on... Uh, a Windows computer. It's probably available for everything else as well. <laughs> okay, before you leave, are you getting ready to leave? No, I'm okay. looking for more holes to dig. What does this tablet say? It's the Black Reaper ore. Wait, what did it say? It's, it's basically said the le least valuable. Um, Rupees will have very few bad spots around it, and the more valuable will have a lot more. Alright, so I need to go up here, I assume. Huh? So I need to go up here, I assume. Uh, no, look at the walls, okay? Uh, shoot one with your slingshot. Do not shoot any black ones. Hmm. There we go. Oh. So I can do this for all of them and get a lot of rupees? I think so. Try it on the tree. Or whatever that is. Yep. Shoot it again. Nope. Guess it only works once. Uh, that is interesting. Uh, I don't really have the time on recording to do that. Is there a red one? For, Look for a red one real quick. For everyone, but if there's a red one, I'll get that really quickly. I see blue. Apparently there's a ru black rupee ore, which you would do not want to shoot. Rupee ore. It says rupee, R-U-P-O-O-R. -R -R. Oh. Could be a typo, I, don't, I really don't know. It, they have it five times in this one page. Shoot the black the black one, I want to see what happens. I want to see what happens. Oh. Am I, do I dare to pick this up? You're going to lose money, I think. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with that. I don't want to lose money. But if it's worth like 500 rupees, I'm gonna kill you, Hannah. Oh, well, it says don't pick it up! <laughs> I think it might take away all of your money, actually. And that's the last thing you want to do. I'm just guessing. I don't know what it does. But right. it keeps saying Rupert or. So I'm guessing that's what they're called before you turn them into rupees, is they're Rupert 